this is a problem. I got a very weird lookup situation going on at Awesome Chocolates. You see, back in 2021, we just had a single price list for our products. But starting 2022, our CFO introduced a monthly changing price list. So every month, some of the products, not all, can have a different price effective from that start of the month. This means my lookups are no longer working correctly. Let me show that to you. So here is our updated price list. And as you could see, if I look up for the price of almond choco with the XLOOKUP formula, so XLOOKUP almond choco in my product column, and then get me the price, close bracket, I'll get this price as $6.11. Notice that the price is correct as of Jan 3rd, 2022. But we did revise the price of almond choco not once, but twice. So our effective price as of today is $7.53, but my lookup is giving me the wrong result. And this is the problem. You might be tempted to try the X lookup with a different parameter. So for example, this is what I tried next. I said almond choco in the product column, and then I want the price. And then for the search mode operator, which is the last parameter for X lookup, we could put this as minus one. And what this will do is it will look from the bottom of the list instead of the top of the list. And this will get me the $7.53 price, which is my effective price here. But we can't be sure how this price list is going to be maintained. So if somebody sorts this, so for example, I go in largest to smallest, this formula is gonna give me $6.11. So as you can see, the lookup problem. None of the formulas that I write are working. Let's try something else. So one way to solve this is we should first find out what is the latest price update date for almond choco and then get the corresponding price. So it's kind of like two step lookup. First we look up when is the latest update on the price and then get the price. And this is where we can use the max ifs function. Uh, this is one of those new formulas available in Excel. So max range is my date. So I'll just pick the date column and then criteria is product column should be almond choco. This will come up with the number representation of the date. But if I format this in date, I will see that almond choco's latest price update is on the 7th of March, 2022. Perfect. Now that I know both the product name and the date on which I want the price, I can ask the question of what is the price on that date. So this is where we could use the filter function. Uh, this is one option. I will show you how to do this with XLOOKUP also later on. So filter, filter the price list. And then the criteria is twofold. We want to get the price of Almond Choco on 7th of March, 2022. So product column should match Almond Choco and then with effective date is equal to this date. And then we will get the correct answer here, $7.53. And this is formula is gonna work irrespective of what product I pick. So for example, Arban Choco had three price revisions, once on January 3rd, and then again on February 7th, and finally on March 7th. But if I want to look up for a product like Eclairs, we haven't changed the price of Eclairs since Jan 3rd. So if I put that value here, I'll get the price here as $6.53 and the effective date is 3rd of Jan 2022. But this is just not the only way to do this. We can also use XLOOKUP to do the same thing. So let's try that one out. So we'll start with XLOOKUP and then look up for one. And the lookup array is again twofold. The first value is product column should match with the product that you are looking for. And then the effective date column needs to match with the latest update date. So both day, both criteria are mentioned. Notice this, notice that this internal bit is same as my filter function. But here we are using XLOOKUP to do that. Once the lookup has looked up, then the value that we want is from the price column. And then close the bracket, we'll get $6.53 again. Uh, this is because Eclairs hasn't had a price change since January 3rd. But if I go and put, for example, um, drinking 
Coco, we'll see that $10.53 is the latest price and that's what my XLOOKUP formula also gives. So what is the moral of this story? Don't get into problems like this. This is why I designed a complete lookup course so that you can know what are the various lookup functions available in Excel, when and how to use them, how to combine them to solve problems in a creative and simple manner. So check out the course. The details for that are available in the video description and sign up for it. It's a really simple course, so you can kind of binge watch it in an hour or two practice the exercises and never have to put up with this kind of nonsense in your work. Catch you there. Bye-bye.